What's up guys, it's me the Dolphinatic and welcome back to week 8 of the Pokemon Premier League. Yes, we're about 3 quarters of the way through the season. I only have 2 wins. I know Rai has done some Gale motivational speech for himself. But that's fine, that's fine because no matter how much motivation he has for this battle, he simply will not have prepared for the team I'm bringing. Mainly because I hadn't prepared for the team I'm bringing until about an hour ago. So, I will go over the team. It's either going to be... It's going to go one way. It's either going to be pure genius. Or it's going to be absolutely horrific flop. Now, the plus side is... I'm not afraid to lose 6-0. Because, one, it's already happened. Two... It would be nice if I win, because Rai is ahead of me, but Rai is ahead of me. If he wants to win, it's fine. He'll pull away in the league. It's okay. I'm not I'm not going for any titles anymore. So, at this point, I might as well try the funny crap. That could let this... That, that could pull through. That's all we're going to say. So, that's my reasoning. So, as soon as you see the first Pokemon, you will understand what team I am bringing. And no, it's not my in-game talent flame. First up, we have... Cresselia, and if you look at its item, I don't want leftovers. I realize that's the wrong item. God damn it. I want to give you if I have one. I don't even have one. I'm going to have to regen one in a minute. Um, but basically, uh, this thing Sunny Day Moonlight Toxic Ice Beam. Sunny Day. You might think, oh, it's just to stop his sand. <laughs> Oh, you're so wrong. Sunny Day. Uh, Moonlight gets a boost in Sunny Day, which is nice. Um, toxic, just there for walls. And Ice Beam is there for Hippo. Can also kind of do damage to Excadrill. Not, but not really. Um, no, I don't want to go left in the box. Next up is Terrakion. This thing. Jolly. It speed ties with Infernape, which is pretty much as fast as Pokemon unless it has a Scarf. Uh, oh, no. He, apart from he has um, Sneasel as well. He might be running Adamant to try and get damage on Cresselia, though. So there's a chance. We have X Scissor, Stone Edge, Close Combat. Uh, this thing can just, it just hits like a truck. Absolutely ruins teens. Um, and I don't think I really need to explain Terrakion too much. It's kind of started doing more stuff as we've gone in. But um, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Next up we have Chandelure. Obviously in the sun, Chandelure's Fire Blast is going to be uh, just, it's nothing is going to take it apart from Vaporeon. And I realize now I haven't got anything to hit Vaporeon. So I might have to quickly change that for Energy Ball. But I don't even think Energy Ball will be doing much. Um, Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb, Synthesis, Sunny Day, Chlorophyll, Life Orb, Tangrove. He will not be expecting this. He will not be expecting this at all. So um, I'm really looking forward to using this thing. It hits like a truck. It takes on Hippowdon quite nice actually. So uh, um, it, we'll see how it goes. I just need to uh, tell Ryan to change an item. Okay, so, um, sorry about that. Uh, next up we have Choice Scarf um, Togekiss. This is a dedicated lead one. If he wants to lead off with eight, I can see if it's Scarfed myself. Um, I can run Trick if he hasn't got, I can Trick if he hasn't got Altaria. Maybe hit the Vaporeon that might come in. Um, and basically do damage to a lot of things that, that aren't Vaporeon. So, that's this thing's job. It's also there that if the sand isn't up, um, Excadrill won't be doing, won't be able to outspeed me. So, unless he's Scarfed Jolly. Next up, my last team member, you might think it's a fire team. Why have you got Scald? Burns are nice. And if I don't have the sun up, this thing outspeeds Hippowdon unless he's Speed Creeps. But that's quite a lot of speed investment, so I doubt he'll do that. Um, schooled, Hidden Power, Grass, because obviously it can hit Vaporeon. If it comes down to 1v1, I would beat Vaporeon, potentially. Actually, no, he'll have Wish, but it's there for damage, and I was going to run Electric, but then I thought, actually, if, I mean, what's the point if with Hippowdon around? Grass hits both super effective. Default to get rid of Rocks, because I have got, uh, two Pokemon weak to Rocks, and a Focus Sash user, and then I have my own Rocks, so we'll see how this goes. I will quickly pause the recording, and I will be back when I have my team. Right, I hope I remember to cut that bit out. We are back. I'm now going to hop online. I had to put a heat rock on my Cresselia because I'm a scrub and forgot to change leftovers. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I'm rather 
rather excited yet rather scared. <laughs> so we will see. There is Rai. I see you online, Rai. I see you. He was, he was going over, or he put a message on saying he was going over his team. He realised all his team had been gen without items, so, uh... He luckily had the items ready, so let's play with Rai. Let's save. Nah, I'm challenging you, Rai. Nah. Nah, man. We're going straight into this. Straight into this. Come on. I'm not very confident, which could play in my favour. I know it sounds stupid, but it just might. It just might. As long as I stick to the somewhat game plan I have. That's all I need to remember. All I need to remember. So, let's go music free because it is my favourite. And we're going to bring this team. As long as the Pokemon are, of course. Legal. I'm worried to see what he has. I am worried. I am so worried. Select the Pokemon you wish to enter. He's got Altaria, Vaporeon, Infernape, Excadrill, Spiritomb, and Hippowdon. As I would have expected. So he does have the Altaria. So I'm going to lead off with the Angel of Hacks itself. And I just realised my whole team is female. Uh, male, sorry, apart from Cress. Well, actually, and Terrakion, because Terrakion can't... You know, can't deal with it. Can't deal with being having a nature. Right, I, I'm losing my mind right now, because this... If I pull this off, it will be absolutely amazing. But Tokius can actually do a lot of work to this team. I can hit four things super effective. Which is absolutely amazing. So I'm expecting him to want to lead off with Ape and or Hippowdon. Honestly, I think Hippowdon might be the best. Actually, no, no. Infernape. Come on, it has to be Infernape. It has to be Infernape. He's probably thinking, why the hell has he not got Mega Zam? Because if I could have traced... If he doesn't have Sand, that would be kind of funny. Because I could have easily bought... Um, I'm expecting him to have like an AV Exodrill or something. Because... I could trace his Sand Stream. There's the Infernape lead. Okay. I'm leading off with this thing. It's a pretty good check. Not... Oh, God. I forgot to put... Okay. Nice and even HP, me. Nice and even. Good start already. Time for me to click Dazzling Gleam. We see if we outspeed or not. If he goes into Vaporeon, he might expect the trick. Because otherwise, I wouldn't lead with this. It's also a good way... Right. He is Scarfed Ape. That's good information. I've done nothing. <laughs> that done absolutely nothing. So in comes the Altaria, I hope. Maybe even the Excadrill. Finley. No, nope, that's oh, Vapor, and I wish I clicked Trick. I was talking to Alex about this pre-game. So is he, what's he going to go for now? Is he going to go for Scalds? Is he going to go for Ice Beams? Three rocks for Empoleon if he stays in. It's three rocks. Although... <sighs> if he stays here in, this is alright. If he doesn't, then it's not. At this point, he doesn't necessarily know I'm Scarf. Actually, no, he probably does because he didn't see leftovers. So let's go into Empoleon. The school? Okay, that's fine. Of course, he'll get a burn. No burn, which is nice. Okay. Now, this thing does outspeed me. Which is okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, I forgot an item on Empoleon. 
Nice and no item. Night. He might. <laughs> it could strangely play in my favor. However, this thing isn't the most important thing to my team. So let's go for rocks. Let's go for rocks. He might be wondering what the hell this thing does. He might be thinking, what is this set? My stupidity is really not paying off already. Wrong EVs in Togekiss. The Wish. Okay. So we've seen Wish and Scald. Which honestly is an interesting combination. So will he have the heal bell? Thing is, I have nothing for eight. And that really worries me. <laughs> I'm going to go into this thing. And trick. He stays in. He might protect or scald. There's the scald. Right, he might expect the trick this turn. That's done a lot of damage. I'm gonna go for the... Uh, what's he gonna do? What is he going to do here? Let's give Dazzling Gleam. Ah, oh, I could have gone for the trick! Could, could have done the trick, but I am not a man. Still no burn, which is nice. So I'll tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to go into Cress. Cress can take on uh, this bird thing of his if he wants to bring it in. Although he can't because I am Scar, so. I withdraw. I have to play smart with Togekiss now. Going for the scald. I will take the burns. I will take a scald burn here because that means no toxic. Thank you. Now, what's going to come in here? Is Excadrill likely? I don't know. We'll go for toxic and see. I actually think. Um, all right, he stays in. Okay, that's fine. Do I reveal the sunny day yet? He might go, is he going to go for Wish? Okay, that's fine. So if he doesn't have Heal Bell, it works. I'm going to Moonlight and I'm going to Scout for the Heal Bell, I think. He must be thinking no leftovers on this thing either. Go sunny day. Could go into eight, then I'll be scared. It'd be funny if he goes into Hippowdon right now. Could even be bluffing the sand. Should have clicked Moonlight. He might think I'm Resto Chesto at the moment. With draws, going to Hippo. ERB. That's Hippo. Not today, boy. Not today. 
I say no to that. Sunny day, boy! Oh boy. This is about to get very interesting. Extremely interesting. Now I'm going to go for the moonlight because I will be back at, back at full then. All praise the moon Pokemon that gets sunny day. Now I can Ice Beam this thing, but it probably won't do much. I can also Toxic, which he can't do to me. So possibly in the long run, Toxic might have been better, but we don't know if he has Heal Well yet. He has Scald and Wish. He didn't reveal Protect. So there's a chance, a chance, actually I need to keep Tokus around for, um, what's its face? Ghost thingy. He's probably been thrown right off here, and I hope he's gone panic mode, to be honest. We've draws, so he's going to try and get sand back, I reckon. Altaria, okay. So I do... Oh man, if I'd have clicked Ice Beam there, that would have been a dead Altaria. Unless he's bulky with Heal Bell, of course. So I'm going to click Ice Beam and see what happens. He might have forgotten this thing even gets it. If I'd have clicked Ice Beam there... If I had clicked Ice Beam, that would have been a dead Altaria. That was so reckless of him, and I hope he switches out here, actually. Because if he's offensive, um, Ice Beam might have a good chance. He can't set up. I'm not specially invested, though, which is sad. I am max physical defense. We'll see if he's bulky or offensive. Offensive would make sense. I outspeed this turn as well. Oh, he's bulky. He's bulky as hell. Hyper voice. Done nothing. Done absolutely nothing. So let's go into Empoleon. Now, he might switch here, expecting a Flash Cannon. So now this thing is mega, that's so annoying. Terrakion. Terrakion. Roost Hyper Voice. Does this thing get Earth Power? I don't even know. He might be expecting me to be spexed or something, because I have not got an item on this thing. Wish I had Toxic on this now. That must be specially, especially defensive Altaria for Zam, isn't it? It's for Zam! Duh! Mixed, okay. That is nothing. Well, I say nothing. Is it something? No burn, which is annoying. <sighs> I have no switch, so I'm gonna let Empro go down. I have nothing for this. I legitimately have nothing. He 
He might expect me to switch here. If I could get a burn, it would be nice. Might even be able to live another earthquake. He does. And I die. Ah, that's annoying. See how much we can do to this. Thing is, I kind of need that. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. Nah, this thing's got me in the bag. If I'd have clicked Ice Beam on the switch, and then Ice Beamed again, oh, I'd have been so different. I do have speed, so at least Terrakion can probably come in and kill it next turn. Whoa, I've done a lot. That did a lot, a lot. And. Sludge Bomb. Modest life orb should kill, I hope. Should outspeed. Definitely will outspeed. It's really not looking good for me, though. Tangrowth is a definite win condition. Stays in. Dies to Sludge Bomb. Come on. Sun has faded. I don't care what happens now. Altari is gone. Tangrove killed it. That's all I care about. He's probably sitting there like, what the heck just happened? Now he knows how important his Infernape is. It's not a 6-0, I'm happy. It's a shame the sun had to end just then. Kinda wish I could afford to run Protect on this thing so I could scout what his Infernape will be locked into. Horcrux. Okay, is this Calm Mind? Rest Calm Mind by any chance. This is, if this is Rest Calm Mind... Rest Calm Mind, Dark Pulse, Sleep Talk. I don't know, let's find out, see what he starts doing. Let's have a nice sunny day. Pursue, okay. He's choiced. So I'm going to click Solar Beam right now. And be a fucking man! <laughs> Do 
Choice Banded. Spirit Team is not going to win you the game today, I'm afraid, buddy. He has to switch into Infernape. I mean, if he switches into um, Hippo to get rid of the Sun, it doesn't matter because something will then take a Solar Beam on the next turn. Cause, and I will outspeed Hippo because I'm max speed or modest max speed. So this has caught him right off guard, has Tangrowth. Sucker Punch, okay. That does nothing. We'll see how much this does. I will Synthesis on the next turn. He's not Choice Bandit, which is interesting. Oh, he almost died. He almost died. Oh, it's annoying. All right, let's go for Synthesis. He's rest, it's fine. He'll, he'll die on switching if not. Is he real? Surely he'd switch into Hippo and Synthesis will do nothing. It's what he should do now. Will he do it? I don't know. I mean, this Tangrowth just destroys his team. Perfect. <laughs> Back to nearly at full. He must be thinking, fuck my life right now. So he might Shadow Sneak on the next turn. So I'm going to click Sludge Bomb. Who knows what he wants. He might, surely he's Rest. Could have gone for another one. That would have been nice, but greedy. Alright, that thing's dead to a crit. So, what's next? What have I got left? Crest, Terrakion. Terrakion. Oh my god, Terrakion. He scarfed eight. I can't outspeed eight. He can click Flare Blitz and, you know, he might think I'm timid. I don't think timid in the sun would outspeed Choice Scarf. He knows my whole moveset now though. Sludge Bomb, Solar Beam, Sunny Day, and Synthesis. So I don't even care if I lose now. I got two kills with a Sun team consisting of a Chlorophyll Tangrowth. I am happy. He has to switch in eight. Although eight will take rocks damage. But I know it's Scarfed. I know it. And he can click Flare Blitz. So I don't know why he's taking... If he's taking long, that's brilliant, because he is wasting his time. So in comes this thing. What will it go for? Will it go for a knockoff? Will it go for an ice fang? I'm going to go for a sunny day. I don't think he'll be able to kill me. You might even expect to switch, so I'm going to click this. Because at least I can Synthesis next turn. He might even go for rocks.
which is actually fine. If he switches here, pulls a double, that'd be brilliant. Unless it's into eight, of course. They're not so good. He withdraws. Does he go into eight? He does go into eight. So now, I can pull a switch into Chandelure. And if he wants to go for U-turn, that's fine. I will outspeed his team, but he has the uh, stupid... What's its face? I wish I bought Energy Ball on Chandelure now. But I don't, I only have Shadow Ball. Even Sub Calm Mind. Because I'm a man. This game isn't over. It's just eight. Ruins me. Alright, switch into Chandelure. U turn. Play. He has to go into Hippo. He has to go into Hippo. He might still have rocks on a predicted switch. Will he go into Hippo? Or, I mean, I'll be able to live a scald under the sun. He will be shitting bricks at the sight of this thing. Because this thing in the sun, let's face it, horrifying. <laughs> Absolutely horrifying. So there's ERB. Does he have leftovers? I don't know if he does. He wouldn't have got leftovers that turn, would he? I clicked will o -Wisp, by the way. Oh, he's withdrawn. Ah, oh, he's into Fire Monkey. Okay. Fire Monkey can't touch me unless he has Stone Edge, of course. Which he might do. He might very well have the Stone Edge. I need, a, I need a free switch <sighs> into Hippowdom with Tangrowth. I need Chandelure for this monkey, but he is losing health every time he wants to keep switching in and out. I don't want to risk a Stone Edge. I'm thinking that would be his last move. He does need Thunder Punch because he has close combat. Close combat does work. Doesn't get knock off. I think that's um, Sand Rock on that hippo.
There's a U-turn. I should have gone straight up for a fire move. I knew it. However, that did nothing. Guacamole. Okay, yeah, this thing scares me now. This thing cleans up from here. Unless he goes for Swords Dance. So I'm going to go for Sunny Day. Last, last, last gasp, sunny day. I can't, I can't stop Mole now. Unless I get the sunny day up. Iron Head, yeah. Is it Life Orb? He is Life Orb. I, I need to stall out turns of sand. I don't see that working. I don't see this working. X is it. Yeah, he has it. I'm going to die to it because I'm not defensive. That's GG. It is a full row because I just cannot add speed this thing anymore. God, I wish I was Focus Sash. That is definitely GG at this point. I can't do anything. It's Rise game, but I am proud. I am proud of what we accomplished today. Oh man, I wish I was Focus Sash. <laughs> I should have known. I sh All you had to do was get his sand up. Should have been a man and stayed in when he had Inferno Pin. There was that that cost me the game because... GG Rai. But I don't care. Chlorophyll, Tangrowth did a thing. Uh, lots, multiple things. Good game, Roy. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> it wasn't exactly the best uh, team, I know. But hey, it was fun. I sli well, actually, no, I did enjoy it. I knew I'd lost as soon as he had the sand and I couldn't get my own son up. Guys, I'm signing Nine Tails in the next transfer window. Don't worry. <laughs> um, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, please make sure you leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already. Hackmon Maze on. It's a thing you might be interested in. Obviously, also go check out Rai. You might know who Rai is because he does stuff for the GBA. And, um,. Yeah, that's 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 what he does. He also has the Rai quiz, which he hasn't done in a while because he got I think he got bored of it, but um, or it got repetitive, something like that. Um, but seriously, go check him out. I'll leave his link in the description below. Obviously, go check out the PPL channel. I know we don't upload much there, but we will one day. So it's always worthwhile subscribing now than forgetting in the future. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.